time to finish cutting and splitting this red oak. There's not much cut to do. There's a bunch of splitting and some stuff I got to sort out whether I'm going to put for smoker wood or for boiler wood. I'm going to try and keep more smoker wood than boiler wood. Because like I said before, I'm not selling as much boiler wood these days. And it's nice to just stock up on the oak, right? Because when I get oak, sometimes I get a bunch and then I get nothing for a while. Or I get a few pieces here and there at the tree service yard where I go pick up. Then if I get another load another time, it'll, I'll be waiting for it for a long time. And then all of a sudden there's like two, three, four loads of oak, right? So I guess what I'll do is I'll just, um, yeah, I'll save some for now. And then the rest I can worry about. If I get another set, then I'll just put it for firewood. I didn't mention last time that as soon as I started cutting that load, I cut into a hollowed out section of the tree and I dulled the saw a bit. But the red oak, it cuts so nice that... You don't need the sharpest chain for this stuff. If you have a really sharp chain, it just breezes through it like butter. But the saw still does pretty good, even though it's a little bit dull. And this chain is gonna go soon, so I'm just finishing off this chain before I put one of my old chains on and get that sharpened up. And then I'll be nice and fresh next time with the new chain. Despite all the issues I've had, I finally figured it out, so.
Okay, I've got about four and a half wheelbarrows full of split wood anyway. I got some more boiler wood over there. Okay, we've got a mystery species here and this block was sitting around. This is where I got this red oak from and the tree that fell into the backyard on the other side of the fence they had this wood sitting around they said okay yeah go and take it so there was some black locust which is some of that stuff that I was splitting and this stuff there was no bark on it and I thought it was elm at first and I kind of thought it was honey locust but no the grains nice and straight and doesn't have any weight to it but it feels like good hardwood and there's no smell I really don't know what this is I'm even trying to identify by the way that uh, this little branch is coming out because the characteristics of how some of the branches come out of the trees that's how you can tell right like say for example if you have elm and there's a branch coming out there's like a bulb on it and that's how you could tell so instead of just a branch sticking out or whatever you'll see like the bulb and then the branch is coming out of that bulb or bulge if you want to call it but I don't know what this is but this is gonna dry quickly because it's been sitting waiting to dry it's just been sitting waiting to open up and that's what happens with wood it sits for a long time it dries somewhat then as soon as you open it out it just takes about a couple weeks maybe a month at most and then it's good to go I do think this is sugar maple because it's really straight even when I look at this it looks like it uh, there's the pattern which I don't think you can see it let me put it up close but it just looks like there's these lines these really faint lines that go across and there's a whole bunch of them as you go across and there's only a few species that do that this wood split really easily it is very straight and that's what it might be That's the American elm here and luckily this stuff is nice and straight and I got this the split really easy in the wood splitter it was a bit stringy but a lot better than it usually is I picked that up from the tree service and the guy said oh I can't get in because all the trucks are back and I got to come back another day so I said let me go check what's in there and he said there's this huge load of elm he thinks that's in there and I went to check it out and I grabbed a piece of sample to see if I should take any so Next time I can go back there, tomorrow's Friday, might be busy, but I'll go back there and get some more since it's been so nice. So anyways, guys, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment, and all that good stuff.